you know, growing up with Asperger's and um, growing up with a religious upbringing tends to do a number to a person and it does damages. I grew up in an overly religious household, namely my mother, because she had abandonment issues when she was sent to go to school in Austria from Ethiopia and her mom sent her away to a Catholic boarding school and her father had died of leukemia and she didn't see her mother and my grandmother till almost the time I was born almost 20 years later and then my grandmother died when I was seven years old a few years later it did a number to my mom emotionally mentally and my mom, I guess her coping mechanism was religion. And to this day, my, my mom is 67 years old. She's old now, but she still holds on to that same concept of religion, what she believes to be true about God. I mean, so many bad things have happened to her, and she still has this high belief of God, a hypothetical belief. I mean, I guess more power to a person if religion brings them peace, but for me, God doesn't work. At least not that version or variant of God that she believes in. She used to force me to read the Bible when I was a kid, and when I wouldn't read it, she would suffocate me with a pillow, and she'd get very angry, beat me up with a belt. This was in the 80s and early 90s, and I hated her for it. I mean, to this day, I still get mad about it. That's why, you know, I've deviated away from religion and have nothing to do with Christianity or any kind of organized religion whatsoever. I'm a spiritual person. I believe in more in a higher power of spirituality. But I don't believe in God or Jesus or Moses or Yeshua or nothing like that. I don't believe. I'm not saying it doesn't. they don't exist or they're false, but... I don't believe in them personally, and they don't work for me. I've studied different religions over the years, but if you read closely, Asperger's and religion don't mix. People who have Asperger's generally are not religious people. Although my one of my friends, who's in jail right now for murder, he had autism, and he was a big-time Christian, and me and him would butt heads all the time. He always insists to read me the Bible, even though I tell him I don't want to hear it. My mom would force me and put the Bible on my head to make me read. And a lot of fucking people, kids, or adults, you know, kids of people who had religious parents like I did, they follow that same ideology. And I don't get it. People don't have a drive to want to be their own person and to want to study the facts for themselves. Why do you got to go by what your family and your parents do? I mean, why? Why can't you be your own person? Why do you got to follow a tradition? Why? I mean, there is nowhere in any book, any family law, or anywhere where it says you got to do what your family does. That's why for me, I'll never be with a girl who's family oriented for that reason. I don't follow people's traditions or family traditions. I follow my own tradition, my own religion, and what I want to do and what brings me peace and safety and sanity. I'm not like everybody else. Everybody else are nothing but sheep and cattle following the herd. You tell them to jump off the bridge, they'll jump off the bridge because they're that fucking stupid. I mean, how much stupidity is there in this universe that we got to do, do as I say, not as I do? I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? I mean, the hell. People, I guess, are that weak that they don't understand. And I guess I'm trying to get people to follow and see my point of view as well while I'm making these videos. But I don't expect you necessarily to follow me or believe me. I want you to come up with your own belief. I want you to do your research. Come up with your own conclusion. Because I'm asking you to, not because I said so. But it's important. Every individual has the responsibility to research the facts. That's what the Internet's for. That's what books are for. People don't read anymore. Those that say the Bible are the only thing that matters are fucking stupid. And they should be fucking put away. 
And if you want to believe that, okay, that's your right, that's your freedom. But do not try to force that on me. Because if you do, that's what's going to happen. I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't give a fuck about your Christian religion, your Bible, your God, your Jesus, your Muhammad, your Jehovah's Witnesses, your Mormonism. Fuck all that shit. It's all a bunch of garbage. People have been fighting, going to war for years on end over religion. Religion is the most evilest thing that there is in this world. That is why it's the way it is. The way what we're going through right now in Russia and everything, all because of religion. My God's greater than yours. I'm holier than thou. Fuck you. And your religion. I don't gotta believe in a goddamn thing. I do what I want. I live for me. I don't give a goddamn about what some other people do. I had a girl to lecture me tonight about God and religion, and I told her, I don't want to hear it. And she kept talking about it and talking about it. Like, I don't want to fucking hear it. Keeps egging me on, pestering me. Some people you just need to stay the hell away from, or they need to stay away from you, period. Because they're not good for you. My girlfriend was religious that way. Me and her never got along. She was wanting me to go to church with her and shit, and her youth group kicked her out of her church because she was dating me. And they didn't like the fact that I didn't go to their youth group or I didn't believe in what they believed in. I stayed away and I steered clear and I minded my business. And I told her she can go to the youth group but don't include me in it. I mean, I'm 37 years old. By the time I think I was 32. But even still, I mean, youth group is for people that are between the ages of 15, maybe 21, 22, but that's it. My girlfriend was like 28, 29. I'm still going to youth group. But religion was a big thing for her. And I noticed... More times often than not, drug addicts and people who have fallen on hard times, when they get clean and sober, they use religion as a crutch and they fall down to it and go deep into it. And that's one thing that really pisses me off about former drug addicts. They have this high and mighty attitude. They think they're somebody special just because they found Jesus. Fuck you. You're not special. You're nobody. Don't forget where you fucking came from. You're a piece of shit just yesterday, and you're a piece of shit today. It doesn't matter that you got clean. You're still not a better person. I mean, it's a good thing you got clean, but you still treat people like shit and use religion to rub it in their face. Fuck you for that. Fuck your religion, and fuck Christianity, and Muslim or whatever bullshit you believe in. But how dare you come up to me with that shit and try to put it in my face, try to shove it down my throat. Go practice what you preach, bitch. I can't fucking stand religious people. And I can't fucking stand former drug addicts who think they're now somebody who go around trying to preach. I had one guy tell me I'm going to rot in hell. And he got up in my face. I was ready to just fucking deck the guy and keep hitting him and hitting him. But I kept my composure and I kept my cool. I let it go. But I was so angry and just pissed off that this guy had the goal to come up to me and tell me I'm going to burn in hell because he had a vision of me burning in hell. Keep that shit to yourself, you piece of shit. Religion is evil. That's what religion is. Have you ever spelled evil backwards? Evil spells live. God backwards is dog. You ever notice that? Fucking people have been debating religion for years on end, and it'll never fucking stop. That is why the world is the way it is today. That is why people are behind. I mean, what I believe in is not your business. It's nobody else's but my own, but I'll share it with you. Because that's what I'm, I'm trying to explain why I'm the way I am and what I believe in for the purposes of what I'm doing right now. I don't need somebody to preach to me or to tell me anything. I've done my research... I've read all kinds of books, historical books, on religion. I know what I'm talking about. You guys, you motherfuckers, practice what you preach, and don't fucking lecture me.